Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today, I wanna to thank you for smashing that play button and joining us on the wonderful channel, Brink of Speed. Also, thank you to my thumbs up squad for already smashing that thumbs up button. I hugely appreciate it. You guys have been absolutely amazing. And if you don't wanna miss a single one of these types of videos, please do me a favor, smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, so today we are headed back over, me, Darren, and Mark, to John Brick's house. We're gonna use his awesome quick jack lift and we are going to do some work on my brand new 23 C8 Corvette. Now we're not doing brakes like we did on Darren's last time. This time we're gonna be adding something or actually two things from ACS Composite and it's gonna be pretty sweet, especially because of the fact that I will be the first YouTuber ever to put this Z06 piece on a Stingray. Let's get going, guys. Mike, this is the first time I've seen your wheels in the sunlight. This is incredible. <laughs> Aren't Look they that. amazing? How they sparkle just like carbon flash. Yeah, man. That is going to be great. Yep. <laughs> that is awesome. It's Darren. You're going to keep Mark in line? Yeah. Well, you're going to have to because we're uh, putting some parts on the car yeah, today. So, heck yeah. Yeah, really so John's just that. in there in the garage, just uh, making sure that, I guess there's enough air in the hydraulic, yeah. or I don't know. There's what? I guess two little pumps on it. It's that an is... air lift, not a hydraulic no. lift? See where the shocks, you gotta keep air in there. Interesting. So yeah, we'll be putting this up on the quick jack and making life easier for ourselves. There we go, Mike's pulling it in. John's garage again. There's the quick jack. Darren's here. Darren's getting ready. All right, Mike, you ready? I'm ready. This is gonna be great. I can't wait to put yeah. these on here. All right, so guys, I uh, got a couple of things from ACS Composite, but we only have nice. one box right here. Nice. What do you think this is? This is well, probably the, uh... oh, you don't think that's the, the side skirt? No, what is, that's maybe the one piece this front, is the splitter. front splitter. Right? Okay, very good. But we do have something behind it. Oh, what is this? Um, it's the first time ever that a uh, YouTuber has done a video oh, really? installing this on their... Joseph favorite. sent this Joseph, to you? He did. Joseph, man. Yeah. Thanks, Joseph. Joseph and Jonathan. Yep, Joseph and Jonathan. Well, they don't make any shortcuts on packaging, that's for sure. They don't. No, they do a good job packaging it. You almost got to be careful taking the packaging off. That looks like a 1VM carbon flash ACS front split. God, the finish on it is so nice. So beautiful. Yep. All right, Mike, we've done this a few times, haven't we? we? Have. Yeah. So Absolutely. just, what is the size, everybody? On YouTube land, you've heard us say it 10 times. What is it? T15. So T15 bit There's right like on your thing. 21 of them. Yep. 21. We'll take out every other one. Go the right way, Mark. Yeah, well, that's why you go slow, one. All right, you got all the bolts out? Yep. Darren and Mike lowering it out. Now it comes in three pieces, but just take it off as one. That's actually a good thing to show people because some people don't realize this from the fact yeah, that... Yeah, it's got yeah. the... Yeah, they just take those off. It's got the two piece. Right there and there, yep. Now, the nice one we're going to put on. Look at that. The extra pretty one. Oh, yeah. It really changes the look of the front of the car. It does. Okay. All right, let's get this in there. Just touch, I'm not going tight on them. Yeah. As you know, we did this before, just. All right, folks, the 1VM 
front splitter from ACS Composite and full carbon flash is now on my car. I'll just show you guys an up close view and then you guys will get the drone footage after we're done with everything. Oh, that looks so nice. It does. Yeah, and I touched it. Yes, guys, I touched it. <laughs> he always does. All right, so now we've got the secret Z06 oh, yes. piece that we need to open up and show everybody what it is. Okay. What is this, a cargo liner for the frunk? What on earth could this be? Go ahead, Mike. Pull them out. I can't wait to see these. I know. I, I'm, I, I'm starting to think I know what it is now, I think. Um, I'm sure people in the comments are already guessing. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, so most people now. have never even heard that these were available. Yeah. Stingray. So, so before I even open these, most people, when they put side pieces, because we, we can see these are definitely going to go on the side. When they put side pieces on their Stingray, they're going with either the 1VM side rockers that we installed on your mm -hmm, car. The 1VM, yeah. The 5VM side rockers that we installed on the Captain America car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are from the Z06. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Oh, this is the part right here that I love. That's the yeah. spear of the Z06, right? Exactly. Check that out. That's the bottom. This is the top. Yep. So I see how it goes out more aggressively mm -hmm. than the standard GM. And this is a GM... This is just like the, this is just like the just OEM. like the GM piece. This is OEM appearing, yes. Yeah. So All right. this would go this like right amazing. here, dry yeah, fit it. Go on that side. This would go right here, quarter inch from the front. Yep. And it just literally sits in place. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. That is gonna look amazing. Yeah. So, that, uh, changes the appearance a lot yeah oh yeah so as you know everything else on this car is carbon flash including my wheels so this is really gonna set the car apart oh yeah from every other stingray out there until people start catching on and buying these things everything is linked in the description below if you have questions about them feel free to call ACS composite Joe or Jonathan will be happy to answer any questions but these are amazing you can get them uh, shipped out very quickly. I can't wait to get these on and then show you guys what they look like, you know, with the drone. Yeah. So, all right, so step one, after you unpackage this uh, side rocker, is you wanna put a little alcohol on a microfiber. And then this inside part here, Darren, if you can get in here close, you can see there's a groove right here and then there's a groove way over here. Very nice, Joseph. Thank you for giving us a guide. So right. this whole area is where the red gets, tape will be. Yeah, it gets the 3M tape. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you're gonna take your alcohol and clean that whole area to make sure that that 3M tape sticks perfectly to that. And then we're gonna take the 3M tape and we're gonna go ahead and start right here. Oops, sorry. Start right here. Take all the way over. How much will you go any further than that line? Uh, Mike, or no. will you just let it? No, you just go to this line. Just go to that line. Yep. All right, go 45. And you can use a razor on this because it's the inside that no one is going to see. So don't worry about cutting this right here. Pull that off. So you're going to want to pull a pretty decent amount of that forward to get a, a starter and pull it you know, way down on the piece like that. Yep. Increase it so that it actually stays put when you're, yeah, when you're putting it on. Okay, so that piece is ready to go. All right, so take your alcohol again, put it on a microfiber, and make sure that this whole section here is clean. Because the tape is gonna be touching this right here. Yep, along that so, crease, right? Uh, yeah. You want to make sure that's clean. And I clean the underside too, just for good measure. We've already done the driver's side. So we know when we put this on that it needs to be about a finger distance from the edge, which is about a quarter inch. And we got to be careful. We got to hold the top up away from the body so that we make sure that it doesn't stick. Where's my tab? Make sure your tab is exposed. Mm -hmm. And let's see. 
That's that's it right there. That's the distance. So okay. go ahead so we're and push go. all the way on. Okay. You got it? Yeah, don't don't push it on yet. Okay. Just make sure that it's all the way forward. Now take this tab and you're gonna wanna gently pull this so that it doesn't rip out of there. I'll let you do the honors with okay. the last little piece. Okay, oh, then nice. you want to push forward and, and push down a little bit, right? Yeah, so press down a little. Now this is going to feel a little bit loose, but it doesn't matter because you got rivets the rivets there. start way under here and go all the way down. And that way, this front piece will be completely secured. Okay, let's go ahead and show them this amazing rivet gun. All right, Mike, so Mike got me a present for Christmas. He got me a rivet gun attachment that you can see it just goes right in the might loosen it up you see it comes right out just like a bit yes goes in i'm gonna tighten it in there and then forward gets the rivet in reverse pulls the rivet piece wasted piece out when you're and done we'll show you guys that as he does it yeah so now where did you get that from mike that's pretty cool that was on amazon and I how much was it, it roughly 40 bucks oh yeah that makes your life way easier yeah. for 40 bucks that's the best 40 bucks for doing this job. My, oh, yeah. my physical therapist who worked on my wrist recommended it too because we because <laughs> we could barely remember we were clamping oh, yeah, down yeah. on that oh yeah. this is so good so mike you wish you had that little rivet gun that joe uses in his videos i do that's a lecture one it's i do like, boom what are you thinking mark not owning one of those i know right that's the one tool i don't have <laughs> Ugh. It's like getting shot. There's the rivets again. You've got all the long ones except for two short ones, right? Yeah. All right, so the next step on here is for Mark to drill the holes where the rivets are going to go. And Darren is holding the part where he wants it yep. to fit, where he likes the fit on it. Remember, you're not going too far. You're just going enough to get through the plastic. All right. Now we can rivet. So with the quick jack, what we figured out is that it's a little bit in the way of being able to drill the last hole in this side rocker. So we're going to do all five. Then on the six short rivet, we will bring this down, jack it up with a normal jack and finish the sixth. All right. So you just put this in this, the nose of this, snap it in there. Okay, all right. So this is gonna go right in the hole we drilled. Nice and snug. And then we're gonna go forward. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. Nice. Easy peasy. Yep, and then you'll reverse the gun. And that comes out. Perfect. Dang, that is easy. I know. Oh, God. Lifesaver. Best I mean, rivet gun ever. Yeah. yeah, anyone that is tackling this job, you definitely buy this. Don't use a hand. I mean, this saves you two hours. Absolutely. And a oh, trip to your physical therapist. Depending on how <laughs> many things you're doing, at least an hour. And you're talking $40 versus $19. So right. yeah. if you're buying a rivet, that's, that's, that's money for sure. Yep. Okay. So Mike, this is the box that came in. Actually, we've got a little case over there too, but it just basically, like we said, comes out, it's a piece. This is the handle, comes in a kit like that. And it does have uh, attachments for different size rivets. Sweet. Yeah, you know, this comes out, it's got a little wrench and it, that comes out. Awesome. For the different smaller size rivets, but yeah, that's it. Where did you get this at? Amazon. Of course. <laughs> the North Pole, it came from Santa. It came from Santa, the North Pole.
23. The red mist metallic. Woo! Nice. Love that. Z51. Did he just Black get that? Exhaust. He just picked it up just yesterday it afternoon. Up. You can Ooh. smell it. It's like barely got an convertible with yeah. the black nacelles and black top. Wow, Mike, these are awesome. Where'd you get them? So these are from Forge Light. Oh, that's right, Derek. You haven't seen these yet. No, I haven't. Those yeah. are really nice. I can see the metal flake in them. Well, you've seen the wheels on my car, right? I love the wheels on your car. So these are the exact same wheels, but instead of the brushed aluminum finish, can you tell what they are? Carbon flash metallic. Yep. Yeah. All the way through it's there. That is flash. awesome. That's yeah. the same thing that the, like it matches your exact your accent. That yeah. is really nice. That is awesome. Thanks, I love man. It. So I love you it. have a brand new C8 that you just picked. I up. do. And we're gonna <laughs> wheels. We've been talking about this for months. He wants to get wheels, but you've yeah. talked about dark smoke. And it maybe had to see them on the car. maybe gloss black. Yeah. Does this? I this, love is this. Is this another option for you? You think? Well, every time I see them, I'll, the option gets greater and greater because these are awesome. Yeah, so they are really nice. this is his new C8 with the carbon flash nacelles and top. So these carbon flash wheels are going to go good with that. But we also have the MC20s. Yeah, they were in the back of my truck. So Derek, you're in luck. I get this we're going to do a little try on on one side and let's see what you think. I'm, I'm actually anxious to see how it looks against this red mist. I think it's going to be. Yeah, awesome. so we're going to put them on this side. We're going to do. The MC20 on the front, we'll do my MC5 on the rear. That way the sun is hitting it and you guys will be able to tell Derek which wheel he should go with. All right, so check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have the stock 20 spoke wheels and their stance. And on this side, we have the 21s and 20s and these are the MC5 carbon flash wheels, and these are the MC20 gloss black wheels. Look at that. That is pretty. And then... Derek, what do you think? Wow. Did this make your decision any easier? Yeah. No, it did not. <laughs> they both look amazing. Maybe I'd get two sets and change there them out how go. I feel. <laughs> hey, that would make Jose happy. Uh, 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 oh, it will. <laughs> and I'm telling you, they are amazing. They're good quality and they look really good. Amazing. It makes the difference in the car. It the does. factory wheel is too is too small. Right. The big wheel sets out and it sets away from the car. Yes. Which allows you to give it a better profile. Yes. The only thing it needs is a little lowering. It'll be even better. I, I totally agree, man. Yeah, I don't know. You guys vote. We want to know what you guys think. Which one do you guys like better? Help him pick the correct wheel. This is a very difficult decision because he's got the carbon flash everywhere, just like mine. He has the, the roof and the cells and then the mirrors and then the rear spoiler, the front splitter, you know, the side intake. So this is a hard decision. For sure. I'm not sure. Does the camera, is it picking up the flake from the carbon flash? It looks really good right here in this yeah. side of the sun. Yeah, this is actually a perfect location to, to show you guys. So let us know in the comments down below which wheel you guys would choose. So huge shout out to John for having us out again in his garage. Thank you so much. Big shout out to Darren and Mark for helping yep. me do this. They're always great, but give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.